Hello friends, I'm Dr. Jenny Wu, founder of Mind Brain Emotion. And today I'm going to show you how to play 52 essential critical thinking skills to identify biases, assumptions, and irrational behaviors in yourself and in others. We make hundreds of decisions every day. When short on time, we rely on our experiences and perceptions to make the best judgment. This critical thinking deck will help you spot the most common cognitive biases that trick us into making your rational decisions, whether it's figuring out if someone is lying to us, how we feel about ourselves, our impressions of other people, or our financial choices, such as deciding on which product is right for you. Here's how the cards work. Each card represents a specific cognitive bias. On the card, you will see a definition, an example, and a quote to help you understand why people believe and behave the way they do. Take your time working your way through the cards. Start with a specific suit, and I recommend the red suits, which are related to your own thoughts and behaviors. The black suits are related to how you think about other people. Once you become familiar with these cognitive biases, the deck comes with five ways of turning these flashcards into game play. In level one, players can put their knowledge to the test by trying to identify the cognitive bias without looking at the card. In level two, you can do a charade or headband style playing by coming up with your own clues and examples to help the other players to guess the cognitive bias. In level three, apply what you know by identifying cognitive biases in a news story, a speech, or here's an easy one, a late night infomercial. See who can spot the most cognitive biases just by looking at one or two. To go one step further, discuss whether these cognitive biases were committed intentionally or out of ignorance. In level four, players take turns analyzing the similarities and differences between cognitive biases. And this is where you can show off your speech and debate skills. Finally, in level five, you are going to play detective in your own work. See if you can spot any biases in your previously written journal and essays. Here's an extra level practice. Pay attention to how you talk to yourself and how you think throughout the day, especially after you've encountered someone. See if you can spot any irrationalities and assumption in your language and how you talk to yourself. Now, that's a lot of ways to apply your newfound knowledge. By the time you're done with level five, you are going to be a behavioral scientist and to be able to spot all this cognitive biases in everyday lives. So the next time when your friend commits a cognitive bias, just pull out the card, give it to them and say, you've been served.